The Redmi K30 Pro news is coming in thick and fast and today we got an official teardown video directly from Redmi showing us all of the hardware that they're going to be using in the phone. So before that we did actually get some pictures posted by Redmi showing off the internals. As we know the phone will feature a pop-up camera once again. Redmi said that the reason that most manufacturers have gone over to a cutout camera instead of a pop-up is because internal space in the 5G era is just so limited. The bigger modems and the antennas etc just don't leave much space so it's very rare to see a pop-up camera in 2020. We can also see the camera hardware in all of its glory. We know that the main camera is a Sony IMX686. It's a 64 megapixel image sensor. It's also on the larger side as well so we should be getting better images overall. And we also know that Redmi is including optical image stabilization on the main camera and the 3x telephoto lens. So Redmi posted this teardown video showing us all of the internal components in the K30 Pro. Redmi say that this actually has one of the biggest vapor chambers of any smartphone right now. This should keep the processor cool and should theoretically give it better peak performance when it's really being tested. And whilst the effects of vapor chambers are probably more limited than the smartphone brands make out, it is still impressive to see how Redmi have fit that big of a vapor chamber in this phone. There's literally no space inside. I have looked extremely closely at the battery specifications in this phone and it's just too blurry when you zoom in that far. But to my eye, it looks like there's a four at the start, so 4,000 and then maybe a five, a six or an eight. I think this battery is gonna be more or less four and a half thousand milliamp hours. It's a pretty good battery and a pretty big battery considering the size constraints and the pop-up camera that they've put in here. As you can see from the internals, there's literally no more space for a bigger battery than this. They also showed off the speaker box, which looks to be very big, but it does also confirm that we're getting a mono speaker that will be positioned at the bottom. No stereo speakers in this phone. With the space left by the pop-up camera, the Mi 10 phones actually, instead of a pop-up camera, just put a second speaker box in that same space. But obviously the K30 Pro having that camera, it can't have stereo speakers. The haptics engine was also showed off and this is for me one of the unsung heroes of a smartphone and is definitely an important aspect. You can see it will be very clicky, it has a different type of design. Redmi have already compared this phone heavily to the V30 and the V30 Pro. Those phones use a slightly more old school type of motor that goes round in a circle and it's quite a dull feeling, whereas this new motor will give a more clicky feeling when you hit the phone. Redmi have already shown us with some audio graphs just the difference in terms of the haptic feedback that you get from a motor like this. Actually, this one is sort of in the middle for haptic motors. There are the inline stepping motors, which are definitely more robust and give a much stronger feeling, but this type of clicky motor is definitely a step up from those earlier versions that give a really soft feeling. So Redmi are packing a lot of things in this phone that don't really make headlines, like that new motor, also optical image stabilization on two of the lenses. These are really good additions considering that the main feature of this phone is offering the lowest price for that flagship Snapdragon 865. Redmi have also shared some sample images shot from the camera of this phone. These look absolutely amazing. Actually, this is Shenzhen where I live in China, but these sample images always look fantastic and it isn't really representative of what most people are gonna be shooting. But you can subscribe and see the camera review and the camera tests versus a lot of other phones. I'm actually looking forward to see that Sony IMX686 and the Snapdragon 865 together. I think it will be a pretty good combination. Quite a shock also is that they confirmed 8K video capability on the K30 Pro. This may actually one up the Mi 10 series because the HMX 108 megapixel image sensor that they use in the Mi 10 phones actually shoots 6K resolution in video. They have an 8K mode where they just upscale the 6K video. But because this is a different sensor, this could be shooting native 8K resolution. I still don't think 8K is a feature anyone should really be looking at. It's just not practical to shoot in this. There's loads of other things you give up like stabilization and dynamic range. Something that is way more practical and definitely a good feature is that 3X optical zoom. We'll obviously add digital zoom and it can go to 30X. That won't go head to head with any of these new phones coming out with 100X, but again, for the price, it's a pretty good spec. So yep, no 90 hertz on the screen, but I think most consumers are gonna see a good looking phone with a bezel-less display, good haptics, and a really functional camera at this price. Now we just wait for the official confirmation on the price to see how good all of this really looks. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now. 
But I'll see you in the next one.